All right, what's up everyone? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is for you. Today, I am at the halfway mark of the Return to Earth 30 Day Ride Challenge. And if you don't know about it, well, as far as this challenge, like I said, it's halfway over. So if you're just finding about, out about it, I'm sorry. But it is a 30 day ride challenge that is sponsored by Pink Bike and their Trail Forks app. I think they're just trying to promote it. And then uh, they got a bunch of other sponsors like Ant Hill Films. And uh, it's pretty much a bike giveaway. But what you have to do is download their app, um, Trail Forks that is, and log a ride every day. And the whole thing about this uh, challenge is just to get out and ride every day. Uh, wake up 45 minutes early or something and uh, get some riding in and then you're entered. That's all it takes. They got some other giveaways and uh, yeah, so uh, halfway mark for me. Today's day 15 and I am riding up Tapia Canyon out in Castaic off of 5 Freeway. So uh, yeah, it's about 9 o'clock right now and uh, the days are getting warmer. So uh, right now it's nice. Got some fire road. I think this is about a nine mile loop or so. I'm uh, gonna go up Tapia Canyon to the top and head down Kona. If you're part of the uh, 30 day ride challenge, let me know in the comments below and see how you're doing. I think so far, halfway mark, I've logged just over 110, 20 miles, which is uh, pretty good. I mean, I think it's more than I would do without this challenge, for sure. So I've been watching some videos about other guys and doing mountain bike videos and seeing uh, what's the best way to uh, set up your GoPro as far as, um, you know, the stabilization. I got this GoPro Hero 7 not too long ago and I found out that I have been doing it or using it on the wrong settings for the best um, possible video. So today I have my settings right and I pretty much wasn't using their hyper smooth capabilities on this thing which is uh, pretty much why I got it. So yeah, changed the settings. Didn't know I was not using the right settings and now is the uh, first run on the right setting. So uh, kind of excited about that and check out this footage, seeing how it uh, comes out. And uh, I'm not using any uh, gimbal or anything like that this is just the gopro hero 7 black and uh, that's what i'm using correctly today all right well made it to the top it took me 47 minutes on a hot day it's only getting hotter Woo! oh yeah let's see what we got <laughs> All right, a little change of plan since I got up here. I am going to do a uh, burn victim, which is right at, starts at this wheel that you spin. It goes straight down and it links up with Kona uh, ways down. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do instead of Kona on the first half. Here we go. Bom dia, mais um dia maravilhoso nessa terra.
mais um dia maravilhoso e nessa terra. Bom dia. But it is getting hot, so that's why I am headed back. And uh, I guess I should tell you the settings I had my GoPro on. They are, uh, it was shot in 4K, 30 frames per second. And that's with using the HyperSmooth. Um, then I put a little wind uh, diffuser thing on the uh, speaker, or microphone, sorry, uh, just to reduce the wind noise. Um, yeah, so let me know how this video looks even compared to uh, my other videos. Some of them can get pretty shaky, but uh, trying to work on that. All right, so I'm riding every day this month, uh, logging in those miles and uh, working on that 30-day uh, ride challenge, return to earth challenge. Uh, wish me luck. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out. See you on the next one. We, I do have a trip planned coming up pretty soon. All right, this is the ride I did for today. I'm gonna to show you my path here using the Trail Forks app. Um, so I like to park over here at the Castaic Sports Complex. Uh, you can see here it gives you your ride log um, information. It was 12.7 miles. 1,500 feet of climb, 1,500 feet of descend. Total time, one hour and 41 minutes. So I park there at the Castaic Sports Complex and I take uh, the road back, go by the Animal Care Center. I took uh, Charlie Canyon Road all the way back up. And I also rode that back in because I cross over at a certain point. Um, so yeah, you can see there's a lot of intersecting paths <clears throat> off of the Charlie Canyon Road is a fire road, so all these other blue lines here are, um, they cut off of the fire road. So take Charlie Canyon Road all the way up, um, then it turns into Tapia Canyon, which is still a fire road, and took that all the way back to here, which uh, back here is where the um, that spinning wheel thing is. 
Uh, Kona kind of goes off of the back in that way, so I decided to just do Burn Victim. And that connects with Kona down here further. Took Kona down all the way. And you can, here's where I decided to do the cross back over. You can take Cap, uh, Tapia back over to Charlie Canyon Road. Um, but Tapia, this is single track back here. You can take that all the way down and then ride back up Wayside Canyon or um, Tapia Canyon Road. Um, there is private property back there. That's why it's good to have a GPS app like this because uh, you don't get lost and you know where you're at.